What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to save your SHSH2 blobs for the iOS 12.0.1 and iOS 12.1 for future downgrades or upgrades. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare and their software iCare phone, which allows you to back up your iPhone easier than with iTunes, manage your files and fix the phone if it's broken using the built-in iOS system repair. Check that program out in the link below. So if you go ahead and here on IPSW.me, you can always see which iOS versions are currently signed. And the reason we're saving the SHSH2 blobs or the app tickets is to be able to downgrade or upgrade in the future. For example, if you're running an iOS version that is too low and the application stop working, or of course, if you want to jailbreak on a specific version. So without any further ado, let's save the blobs. So in order to do that, you have two options at first. You have the TSS checker program by Timstar, which is available for both Linux and Mac OS. It used to be available for Windows, but it's no longer the case. Windows support has stopped. And then you have the online method, which is TSS Saver that I actually recommend. Now this method in here only requires you to have your chip ID or ACID. So all you have to do is to open your iTunes and as you can see it has connected to my phone already. We press on the device in there and press on the serial number once and then once more until it changes to ACID. Then right click in here, press copy and you will be able to paste it in here and there we go. So we have the ACID in place. Now we have to select properly the device we're trying to save the blobs for. Now you're going to ask me why is this even necessary? Well, the blobs that you're going to save are pretty much files that are requested from the Apple server. You can only save the blobs while the versions are still signed. So you cannot save the blobs for a version that is no longer signed, like for example, iOS 12.0 or 11.4.1. And these blobs in here are actually personalized to your device. So if you do not select properly the device, the uh, blob request will be made incorrectly to the Apple server and the response will again be incorrect, which will not match your device and the blobs will be useless. So make sure you select your proper device in here. And in my case, it's going to be iPod. And in this case, it's going to be the iPod Touch 6th generation running iOS 12.0.1 in my case. Now, a note about that, you don't have to run the latest version. For example, I want to save the blobs for iOS 12.0.1 0.1 and iOS 12.1, but you don't have to run any of the versions in here. You can be safe and sound running iOS 11.3.1 being jailbroken, for example, or iOS 10 or whatever, and you can still save the blobs. You don't have to update your phone for that. You just need that unique identifier from iTunes and that's pretty much it. So after you paste that identifier here on tsssaver.onecanon.com, you're going to have to select the iPhone or iPad or iPod, and then on some cases, you're going to have to fill in the board configuration. That one can be found using applications from the App Store. Anyways, then you're going to have to complete the uh, reCAPTCHA in here. So I'm going to press I'm not a robot and it's probably going to ask me to do something. Oh no, it didn't. Then we press submit and that's going to be it. You're going to save the blobs. Now, unfortunately, this service doesn't save your blobs automatically for you. So you will have to do this for every new version. Now, in some cases, it's not possible to downgrade. Don't get me wrong. But in many cases, if you have the blobs, you can use the future restore tool in here, which would allow you to upgrade or downgrade even after a version is no longer signed. And usually they are no longer signed by the time they get a jailbreak. So when you want to upgrade to that version because there is already a jailbreak for it, it will no longer be signed. However, if you do have your blobs and the SCP and basement are compatible, then you will be able to go to that version regardless of what Apple is doing. So this is why we save the blobs. It's just a quick two minutes job and it would allow you to downgrade or upgrade in the future given certain conditions. So as you can see, I got this response in here, which has done saving the ACID, identifier iPod 7.1. And then of course you have the SHSH blobs will be saved at this address. And you're pretty much going to press in here and you will be able to find all your blobs that you ever saved. As you can see, I have my blobs for 12.1, 12.0.1, which were saved today. And then I have my 11.4.1, 11.4, 11.3.1, one, because as you can see from the dates in here, I've been saving my blobs since iOS 10.2 when I acquired the device, and that was in January back on 2017. So I've been saving for almost one year. And these are very useful because I can pretty much use them when I need them given certain conditions. And you can download all of them if you press the download zip button in here, but they're also always available if you go ahead in here on the TSS saver, and instead of putting your ACID in here and pressing 
submit, you go to recover SH SH link. You just paste the ACID from iTunes in there, press get your blobs, and you will be able to see whatever you have saved to that point. So this is how you get them in case you lose them. Now they are saved on the server, so you can always get back to them through your ACID, but I also recommend you to download the zip file because it's very, very small, but of course it's better to have a hard copy on your computer rather than relying on somebody else's server. Anyways, that's pretty much how you do it. You can do it from any device that has access to internet, even from your device if you're able to find your ACID, because the application pretty much saves it on the server. So you can do this even if you don't have a computer because the uh, TSS Saver by One Conan is nothing but a website that you can access on anything that has a browser. Anyways, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and save your blobs now because iOS 12.0.1 may not stay signed for so long. Thank you for watching again. I'm Gio Snow. Until the next time, peace out.